crafters and candle makers. This is Ifat uh, from Curry People Candle Co. If you're interested in checking out my Etsy shop, please click the links provided down below. Um, this is going to be a review of um, Aztec Candles fragrance oil. Uh, for those of you who shop from Aztec Candles know that they provide uh, um, duty-free and custom-free shipping for fragrance oils for Canadian customers. So it makes it very easy for us to order from them, not having to worry about a surprise fee. Um, so uh, I have ordered a couple of other oils too, but um, those are basically for my line and I know those are going to work for my line. Uh, for uh, those interested to know, uh, my line only carries uh, but fragrance oil that are powerful enough to overpower um, cooking smell. So I wanted to check some other fragrance oil that's available in Aztecs that I thought that I can mix up to... Um, to make a fragrance oil of my choice that will work for my line. So I've ordered a couple of um, fragrance oil samples. Um, also, uh, unlike Canvax, the last um, website that I reviewed, Aztec has probably a lot of reviews, about at least 100 and like 500 uh, reviews for each fragrance oils. So when I was ordering, I, I, had the, I had the advantage of knowing what works for people and uh, what they experience. Um, so I ordered based on that, but I didn't get a chance to test these oils in um, uh, in wax yet. So this will be an out of bottle um, uh, fragrance re of oil review. So but you should you should know that uh, fragrance oils out of the bottle behaves very differently when you use it in the wax. Some might not give you a hard, good hot throw or cold throw. So, but since I I read, read all the reviews and all the oils that I ordered uh, were highly, highly recommended by the reviewers. So let, let's jump right to, into it. So first one I'm going to review is called Wood Sage and Sea. This is a Jo Malone type um, fragrance oil. So the base notes of, um, of this oil is uh, mentioned as uh, woody, amber, um, uh, with amber bottom notes. And it has a warm, um, sorry, uh, yeah, amber bottom notes, and it has an elegant mask and soft floral top notes. So, um, and citrus middle notes. It, um, it is very, if you, I don't know how people come out, came up with the sea salt smell, uh, but for, um, like, how does a sea salt smell? Uh, but very weirdly enough, this does smell like salt to me. Mm, like when you smell it, it, it is kind of kind of a very nice ocean ocean breeze small uh, salt. Uh, has a floral uh, note to it. It's not very powerful for fragrance oil. It's a very mild one. But uh, all the interview it says that it really really gives good hot throw and cold throw and. It's a very interesting, interesting uh, fragrance oil. I have never used such fragrance oil before. Mm, I'm, I'm excited to test out in the wax, but I know for sure, like I have to mix some kind of spice with it to work in my, um, in my line, since I, I, uh, my, uh, I want a fragrance oil that's very powerful and a little bit spicy. On, a, so this is not at all spicy. This is more very mild spa-like, ocean. Um, mist like fragrance oil yeah i don't i don't i don't find any wood um wood or amber in it but it's like a sagey sea salt floral uh fragrance oil and i, I like it it's a, it's very different the next one i'm going to review is um a thousand wishes this is a bath and body works type fragrance oil uh, in the website it says it has war it will warm your heart a thousand times over with a festive blend of sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, and almond creme. The so top notes are sparkling champagne, star food, fruit, golden queens, middle notes of crystal peony, purple, freesia, dry notes, gilded amber, almond creme, and uh, sugared sandalwood, sandalwood velvet mask, a lot of things. Um, so, mm, it kind of smells like a laundry detergent. Um, to me, mm, it's in between very common laundry detergent or a shampoo kind of smell. Actually, no, not laundry detergent. It's um, it's a shampoo, like a popular Pantene or L'Oreal shampoo kind of smell. It's coming from out of the bottle, 
So I don't know how it's gonna smell in the wax, like I mentioned, and also I haven't tested them. Um, so uh, please take my review with a grain of salt. Uh, if I had a chance to test them in the wax, I, I will update you guys um, how they performed and uh, how are they. I just got these uh, fragrance oils, so I just got excited to make a video uh, to review out of the bo out of the bottle experience. Yeah, it's, it smells like shampoo to me. Um, yeah, I, I like it. It's not bad. I think um, um, anyway, anyone who is uh, making soap or, or shampoo or body um, body body products will uh, really like it. Uh, but it's a it's a popular bar, bath and body works uh, type of um, uh, fragrance oil, and, and I know their Aztecs makes makes a very good duplicates of bath and body works uh, um, fragrance oils. So the next one, I was a little bit disappointed with this one. I had high hopes. Tea and cucumber. It says um, it has green tea infused with the crisp cucumber alongside with sparkling lime, eucalyptus, rose hips, and a touch of sweet vanilla bean. I, I expected a very cucumbery tea kind of smell, but like I, I, I don't find cucumber in it that much. Maybe when I use it in the wax, the cucumber will come out. But um, it is very tea, like a jasmine tea kind of smell to me. Let me try again. Like a herbal kind of tea smell. It has a, has a slight um, citrusy undertone. Yeah, it's like a herbal tea with citrusy uh, undertone fragrance oil. I, I wanted to get a good cucumber um, fragrance oil because I, I love the smell of cucumber. I use the Methods Cucumber Body Wash and uh, I just just can't stop having it. Like the, the It's so yummy, the smell of cucumber, but I was disappointed that it didn't, out of the bottle at least, uh, I couldn't smell it. Um, but I, I will test it out and uh, report back to you guys. The next one is uh, called Cool Water. So the citrus top notes enhanced by a hint of green with a heart of flowers on a background of amber, musk, moss, sandalwood, and cedar. It's, it's, a, it's like a perfume. It's like, it, it, is, it, it is very pop, like popular perfumey kind of fragrance oil, but um, it's very citrusy. And uh, very refreshing. Um, the name aptly describes it's, it's cool water. Like, yeah, it smells like a very fresh, fresh kind of smell. Um, again, I don't know how it will perform in soy wax or in other type of wax, uh, but I, th I, I I read the review and they said that this has an excellent hot throw. If you're in the market to buy some musky, uh, musky perform, perfume like um, candles or uh, soaps for upcoming, um, what do you call it, um, uh, February 14th, I mean Valentine's Day, um, you can give this one a try. I, I quite like it. I think the men in your life will really, really like this now. Um, I, I, would like, I would love to test it out. Hi, um, so the next one I'm going to review is called Citron Cedarwood. This is also a bath and body work type um, fragrance oil. Uh, it says on the website it, ha it has uh, watery notes to, uh, to add sparkle to this rich woody blend. Uh, shimmering, shimmering citrus is accented with watery notes and a rich woody blend. Cedarwood blends with hints of lavender, patchouli, while soft layers of moss, mask um, lead to the sweet base of golden amber. I'm expecting it to be citrusy as, as usual. Like most of my scents are very, uh, like most of the fragrance oils I find are very citrusy. This one also, uh, it says it says in the name it's citron cedarwood. Yeah, it's a very interesting uh, fragrance oil. You can smell the cedarwood, definitely, but it, it's mixed with citrus. Um, it's is it sweet? Yeah, it it has it is sweet. Everything that that's described, I don't know where the lavender came from, but and I don't smell patchouli at all. But it is cedarwood mixed with something uh, citrus, so woody and citrusy at the same time. Uh, I like it. I, I'm excited to test this one as well um, in the wax. The next one is um, so I'm I would I'm always on the hunt for good uh, spice blends uh, fragrance oils. So I ordered a big bottle of uh, clove thinking that I can mix uh, this with my other fragrance oils to make my own custom blend um, and I ordered cinnamon um, I don't know why I ordered, didn't order a big bottle of this but I, I wanted to just sample it out, test it out in the sample first 
Cinnamon is as usual, it's just cinnamon. I should have ordered a big bottle of this so that I have good two um, spices to blend uh, my fragrance oils with. But um, I'm also on the hunt for a good cardamom fragrance oil. I haven't uh, come across that in any of the um, available um, websites for fragrance oil. Um, but uh, this clove one is very, very powerful. I am afraid this one is going to overpower any other fragrance oil that I mix with it. Um, uh, so I, I have to see. But this is a pure cinnamon I, and I like it. It's not too overpowering like the clove one. It, it's, it's actually much milder uh, kind of cinnamon. Um, but if you're mixing with other fragrance oil, um, the milder is much better than a stronger one. So I, I'll have to see, I might have done a mistake of ordering uh, the, the strong clove one, uh, but I'll, I'll report back to you guys how these two perform. The next one is basil, sage and mint. Uh, it says this is a deliciously herbaceous aroma, cleverly combines basil with uh, cool notes of garden mint, sage and lemon. Blossom top of this, blossom top of this crisp earthy fragrance, reminiscent of a flourishing herb garden. Mm. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It has citrusy notes. It has like minty note and basil. Can you smell the basil? Or do I smell the basil? Yeah, basil is very faint though. It's more sagey and minty than basil, but it's very herbaceous, exactly as it's just described. It's very, very herbaceous. Um, I don't think I, it, it's, it's a unique one. This one, wood sage and sea salt is a very unique smell. Basil and sage and mint is very unique smell. Yeah, these two, I, I, I if I, I, unfortunately they're not gonna work in my line, but uh, if I'm looking for something unique that I, I highly recommend the base, basil, sage and mint, a wood sage and sea, but again, I don't know how they will perform in soy, soy wax or other type of wax, we'll have to see that. But these two are very unique. But the most unique I found is the peaceful patchouli. I wasn't expecting this. This in the website says, a fun lighter twist on this classic fragrance. Everybody knows how uh, patchouli smells like. Some people like it, most people hate it, but this is not patchouli. This is a twist. They're right, this is a twist in the lighter light twi lighter twist on the classic fragrance. It doesn't smell like patchouli to me. It, mm, maybe in the background, but this is the most interesting fragrance I'll ever, ever come across. It kind of smells like my roasted espresso coffee, but not coffee. I don't know, out of the bottle it's smelling like coffee. It's like coffee bean. But it, but it's herb, a little bit herbaceous coffee. I don't know how to describe it. Oh my God, this, this is the most interesting smell. Interesting fragrance all I've ever come across and I love it. I would, I am, I'm looking forward to test it in that wax. The last one I'm gonna re review is called Blueberry Cobbler. Blueberry. It's it smells like blueberry. Yeah. I should have ordered a bigger bottle of this because it's so yummy. It's really yummy, uh, and I love it. Yeah. Um. So that's it for today. Um. I will I will test all of these in the wax and report back to you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Um. Although I I wasn't able to give a firm firm review on all of these things, it's just just out of the bottle. But uh, hopefully uh, you guys, uh, if you guys are purchasing from Aztec Candles, this, uh, this review was able to guide you through some of the oils that you might be interested in purchasing. Um, thank you for watching. And um, if you like my content, please uh, click like, uh, um, subscribe to my channel. Also like this video. Thank you so much.